PVI was ready for a direct impact from Hurricane Gonzalo on October 14th when the storm spared the BVI passing north of the islands. Director for Disaster Management Charlene Dabrio told JTV News she was satisfied with the BVI state of readiness for Hurricane Gonzalo. Everyone you can see took it seriously. There were shutters up, no one was on the road. I may have saw one or two persons, but this was a territory that was braced and ready for impact. But these systems, it's not an exact science. And this has happened in the past. You've seen systems coming very close to us. And because of characteristics of the system, conditions in that particular area, the system pulled away from us and we were very lucky. We did not have a direct impact and there was very little um, effects at all um, compared to what you saw in St. Martin and Antigua where you saw boats were severely damaged, you saw lots of fallen trees, um, some flooding in, in these areas. It is a late part of the season but November um, Octo late October, November is typically known for being a very, very wet month. And coming into to November in the BVI, based on recent data, we've seen um, that we are facing a number of these troughs and systems that have impacted us significantly. With the BVI experiencing minimal effects from Hurricane Gonzalo, the Director for Disaster Management responded to concerns from the public about the rush to prepare for the storm that didn't affect the BVI. She urged the public to always be prepared, not only for hurricanes, but other natural disasters and contagious diseases. Um, I was very pleased with the response from the public. Uh, they move very quickly. I was very pleased with the response from government. Uh, we have a new governor on board who obviously we um, ensure that he was um, understanding and, and able to apply some of the measures that we had in our national plan um, and he took charge and he fully understood the implications of having this system impact us and was in agreement in activating the NEOC. Um, we've had good response from the public um, but there are some lessons obviously that we have learned. Uh, one is that very early individuals on social media were calling for the cellular providers to come on board and to ensure that they become part of the broadcast system. We have been trying to do this for some time. Uh, we've realized that there is a need to have some formal agreements with them and obviously that's going to take a bit of time because you may need to move into a formal um, agreement with them. But they came on board, all of them came on board very early and that was utilized and the effects of that you could have seen um, how, what the potential is to have that sort of immediate access to information. Dabior said there were also good responses from the public and she applauded the role played by government, the media and private sector agencies with the dissemination of information to the public in preparation for Hurricane Gonzalo. Response was good, but now we're getting some negative feedback. Um, people feel that it didn't hit us, it has happened again, it has happened before, it may happen again and they're preparing for the sake of preparing and nothing's going to happen. What can I say? Um, you know, in these instances, this is one thing that man has no control over. Um, these are atmospheric systems. There are many factors that play into this. Uh, we don't want to be in a situation like Grenada and St. Vincent, where people took these things for granted, and then that day came when you end up with a number of deaths. Um, we are living in an active area of the world, not just because of um, the path of hurricanes, but we are in a highly seismically active zone. And any day we can be faced with an earthquake, a significant earthquake. We are at this stage now where we're dealing with a lot of emerging health hazards that are impacting the world. And we have to be conscious of what's going on because it's not if it's going to happen, it's when it's going to happen in the Caribbean and it may be the BVI. So I'm people- talking about chikungunya, dengue, Ebola. Yes, and um, these things are at the stage of an epidemic. Uh, Ebola hasn't reached to the Caribbean, but it's just next door. And so there's a lot going on, and we have to continue to build the capacity in country and get people to understand every day has to be a day of preparation. It can't be that you're going to wait until 24 hours to rush to the supermarket and to spend the last $20 in your purse to get food items. It has to be something that you prepare for year round. 
The BVI was spared the brunt of an impact by Hurricane Gonzalo, which was a Category 1 storm when it passed north of the BVI on Tuesday, October 14th.